Hello, Karina Essa here from Social Media Worldwide and in this video I want to share with you how to use Pinterest trends to create attention-grabbing pins. Pinterest trends are the most popular keywords that users type in the Pinterest search engine in the US, Canada or UK. Simply go to trends.pinterest.com and you'll notice on the left-hand side of the search bar is a drop-down menu which will allow you to choose which country you want to check trending keywords for. Before you start looking at Pinterest trends in your specific industry, you can scroll down the page and you'll see the trends on Pinterest according to different categories. The highest trending topics of the week, so if it's Halloween for example, chances are Halloween-related topics will be trending. If it's Christmas week, then Christmas related topics will be trending. Then you also see the highest trending topics across these popular categories, fashion, food and drink, beauty, home and travel. If your industry is not in any of these categories, type in your keyword in the search box instead. If you're in the golf industry, type in golf in the search box or any other more specific golf related keyword. As soon as you do, a list of the most popular keywords related to your keyword will appear. This will allow you to create a list of trending keywords you can create pins about. If you type golf, for example, a trending keyword could be golf cart. So you could create a pin about the five best golf carts or the three most expensive golf carts in the world, etc. After hitting enter for your keyword, you'll be able to discover even more trending topics in your industry. Just below the graph for your keyword, you'll see other trending keywords. You will also see the most popular pins related to your keyword. There are many benefits to using Pinterest trends. First, it gives you a deeper understanding of what your audience actually wants. And the better you understand your target audience, the better you'll be able to serve them and therefore grow your pin engagement. And the more engagement your pins receive, the more Pinterest will display your pins so you'll enjoy more organic reach for your pins. Then, it allows you to come up with pin ideas. It can be tricky to know what pins to create. They have to be original, unique and interesting. And by looking at trending keywords, you'll know exactly what pins to create. A third benefit of using Pinterest Trends is that it will allow you to keyword optimize your pins and therefore your pins will appear higher in the search results. If you know that the keyword golf cart is trending, for example, and you publish a pin with the keyword golf cart, in both the pin title and pin description, then chances are your pin will rank much higher in the search results when Pinterest users look for golf cart related pins. Another benefit of using Pinterest trends is that it allows you to know what existing trending pins have been published with that keyword and therefore you can model these pins. Going back to the example of golf as a keyword, the trending pins could be a video of someone's golf swing or an infographic of the best golf drills to practice at home. You could therefore publish very similar and even better pins as the trending ones. The best practice when following Pinterest trends is creating a list on a Word document or spreadsheet of all the trending keywords. That way, when you're ready to create a pin, just refer to that list and never run out of pin ideas. You might want to add some columns to that list where you can add the types of pins you'll create for that keyword, such as video pins, infographics, static images, etc. Another column with the URL you'll be redirecting people to who click on your pin, another column stating whether the pin has been created yet or not, and one last column stating the date the pin will be published. This list can quickly become your Pinterest content calendar that will hold you accountable. Thanks to that list, you'll know what Pinterest pins to create and when to publish them. The other best practice is to be very selective of the trending keywords you add to your list. It can be tempting to want to create pins for every single trending keyword, but not all of them will be relevant to you and your business. So only create a list of the most relevant trending keywords. For example, if your business specializes in selling golf swing equipment, you might not need to create a pin for the keyword personalized golf balls. Another best practice is to create multiple pins for the same keyword. That way you're not putting all your eggs in the same basket and you can increase your chances of being noticed in the search results for that specific keyword. So if your selected keyword is golf swing trainer, you can create a pin that displays your product from different angles, then create another pin that is a video of someone using your golf swing trainer, and then a third pin that is an infographic about the mistakes to avoid when using a golf swing trainer. Another best practice when selecting keywords that are trending on Pinterest is to not pick keywords that are very competitive. In other words, don't select keywords that already have a lot of pins associated to that keyword. So always check first if there are too many pins associated with that keyword by doing a search on Pinterest. 
Type in the keyword in the search box and see if there are pages and pages of pins that include that keyword in their title. If there are too many, then you might want to choose another trending Pinterest keyword so your pin doesn't get drowned among all the other ones trying to rank for the same keyword. Lastly, check Pinterest trends at least weekly. Trends on Pinterest can change especially at different times of the year and different seasons. So make it a habit to check them weekly and update your content calendar accordingly. Thanks so much for watching this video. To support our channel, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.